lens it realistically, especially when there's no light sources or like down here, there's no just like random ambient light that makes no sense. Uh, I didn't see that pressure plate, but hey, it worked out in my favor. <laughs> so yeah, I'll try to brighten it up so you guys can actually see what's going on. At first, I thought, oh yeah, I'll kill the Drago, I'll do this, I just won't like loot anything. But then I start getting really impatient, and I'm just gonna kind of start running through everything, but I'm definitely not gonna Oh, 
Whoa, look how quickly I killed the frost agent on. That's crazy. So I'm really digging this staff. I think it's really handy. It just casts like lightning on the ground and when they stand in it they take like a lot of damage because lightning is quite powerful. Obviously I don't have a lot of magic so using a, an item to do that is really good. See why am I- I didn't pick up that was it. When I died I didn't get that ancient Nord sword so I don't have it. That's why. Oh shame. He's throwing fireballs at me, but I'm gonna lightning him. Okay, well, I didn't say it was gonna be a challenge. Okay, let's, Mamma Mia, let's, here we go again. <laughs>
is this way. So 
So this is where that word wall that I was hearing earlier is. 
focus on Cities, kind of close. I don't know if 
just past here. No, maybe not. Oh, up here. No. Okay, here. Oh, is it outside? Oh, it's outside. Oh. Uh, <laughs> okay. I hear it. No. <gasps> so, do you mean that, like, I could have probably hopped up this mountain and avoided all of this? I feel like I could have, right? Ha, take that. Take that full song. Oh, is he also not gonna die? That's like three times now that I've encountered this bug. It's making my it's making my video like a lot easier to be honest, but it also doesn't really feel fair. Although I suppose a lot of people use glitches in, in the game. Like they take advantage of glitches to make their speedruns faster, right? I know of quite a few glitches in uh, in Skyrim that are what people use to make speedruns very fast. <laughs> so I guess technically that's speeding this video up, even though the thing is still an hour and a half. <laughs> Alright, where are we going next? Um, I think next we... Oh, is this the one where we have to go to... Yeah, okay. This next mask is in Skulldolphin, which you can only access while doing the main quest, and Odafing, the dragon, has to take you there. This is why I went to Riften earlier, because I forgot where that Skulldolphin was only accessible via the dragon. So, I... I mean, the, the guy's name is Nakri. So, you can see it's up here in the mountains outside Riften. Um, but again, you can't travel here, you have to be doing the main quest. So, I sat for ages using console commands to move myself, progress myself in the main quest. And it just, I got all the way to capturing Odaving, and I couldn't for some reason talk to him to get him to take me here. So, eventually, I just used console commands to teleport myself here. Oh, there's dragons here. Isn't that great? Like, I literally could have done that all along. I could have just used the cheats. I sat for like 45 minutes going through console commands to, um, <laughs> I know it, it's ridiculous and I should have just teleported myself there. So yes, ordinarily, in order for you to get to this point, you'd have to be doing the main quest. But for today's purposes, we're pretending that we have done the main quest. I forget where to go. Ah, those dragons. I've avoided dragons up until this point. Um, yeah, I forget how to get there. And I've, uh, I've obviously been here many times before because I've speedrun the main quest a couple of times now. You can watch my original speedrun, or maybe you've already seen it, it's got like 2 million views, which is crazy to me, like it's my most viewed video, it's wild, but I'm honestly so happy that my most viewed video is like my favorite game that warms my heart, uh, and then this year I redid it to see if I could beat my time, you'll have to just watch the video to see if I did better, so you can find both of those in my Skyrim speedrun playlist. Okay, you have to go through here, so I'm gonna cut to arriving at the top. And I also, by the way, took out those two dragons because they were driving me crazy. I didn't want them flying and shrieking and swooping around while I tried to fight the dragon priest, so they're both dead. And some dragger too. So you go up here, and this is the guy, this is Nagrin, and I don't know how he got injured. He's not at full health, I don't know what happened. I didn't do it. Maybe the dragon hit him. Uh oh, he got friendly fired. So this is, uh, spoilers, but this is the, like, portal to Sovngarde. So, uh, that was pretty easy. You would, uh, go through there. We're not gonna do that. Oh, and also I'm carrying a bunch of stuff for some reason, because as I was progressing through the main quest, they kept giving me items. <laughs> so I'm gonna increase my stamina. And then I'm going to use console commands to teleport myself back to the main land of Skyrim. Okay. And where we're going next is our final destination. Labyrinthian, which is about here, right there. 
so you can't fast travel from here. So, console commands it is, and I will see you there. <laughs> okay, I'm almost at Labyrinthian for more, okay? Uh, this is our last dragon priest. Oh gosh, sorry, my stomach, I'm really hungry. It's my last dragon priest mask. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, technically. That was like one more, but it's not really a mask. And you don't have to fight anyone to get it. Okay, so similar to the last mask, Nalkrain, where you have to be in the main quest to do it. For Morake, you have to be doing the College of Winterhold quest. It's a big part of it. You know, the Eye of Magnus thing. This is to get the Staff of Magnus. Well, we don't care about the Staff of Magnus. And by the way, there's a lot of Frost Trolls here. So you better get your fire magic ready. Sorry, buddy. So this barrow in the middle will be coming back here. Um, but first, we are... Oh. Because I said I'd done the main quest, now the Greybeards are apparently summoning me. After I've been to Sovngarde, basically. <laughs> Not really, but... Okay, now I just got one more frost roll. We'll be back here in a minute. First, we have to go to wherever this thing is called. It's up this way. So you can't get in normally. You need this special torque of Labyrinthian, which you can only get by doing the main quest. Or if you're me, you cheat it in your inventory and console commands your way to doing the quest, which is what I did. I stood here, I added it to my inventory, and then I just started the quest. See? Find the Staff of Magnus. I literally have not been in the college once, nor have I even been to Winterholm. <laughs> so this is Labyrinthian. And it's... These are the... These are the College of Winterholm people, and this whole storyline there, which I'm completely ignoring today. But, by the way, if you'd like to see me do this seriously, and paying attention to the actual College of Winterholm plot, you can also watch me speedrun the College of Winterhold quest. Yes, I have speedrun for that, too. I have speedrun for almost all the quest lines I've done. Main quest twice. I've done Dark Brotherhood, Thieves Guild, Mages College, um, Civil War on the Imperial side, I think. Um, all the stones of Zaya, the Dragonborn DLC, and the Dawnguard DLC, and this is me doing all the Dragon Priest masks, Dragon Priest masks, yeah, okay, you've got to use flames on the store, that's how you open it, it's like some sort of spell. Unlocking spell. Oh, by the way, let me give you guys a word of advice. When you're jumping, be very careful and, like, don't do stuff like this. <sighs> don't do that, guys. Okay. Anyway, let's pretend that didn't happen. I'm still jumping, though. I'm still reckless. <sighs> but my jumping is a little bit more careful. This guy is so loud, so I've got to turn this down like so much. He's really, really quite loud. <laughs> if you have an idea for another Skyrim speedrun, by the way, you can you can let me know. I want to do the Civil War on the other side. I've got to do storm cloaks. redo some of the others. Like, I might redo Dark Brotherhood or Thieves Guild. They're my favorites. And I might do Dawn Card again, but Vampire Side, because I did the non-Vampire Side. <laughs> oh boy. Another troll. Get out of my 
that's all of them, I'm pretty sure. So, when you get all of them, you come to this barrow in Labyrinthian, and you come in here, and there's a note and a wooden mask. So, if you read the note, which I'm not gonna do, it's like about someone that was hired to be a bodyguard and come down here and all that, and strolls and yada yada yada. And that says that when he put on this mask, the guy disappeared. So, let's see what happens when we put on the mask. The wooden mask comes with an unfamiliar energy. And look at that, we're in the same place. But it doesn't look so decrepit and awful, and all the chests are empty, which sucks, but we can put the masks on the busts. Ada. Marakei, Ragot, Nakrin, Hefnarak, and Krosis. And look at that. It reveals Gonarig, the last dragon priest mask, and our reward for getting all of them. This is literally my first time ever getting this mask. When Elta Slow has a chance to heal the wearer and damage nearby enemies. Oh, oh my gosh, that's so good. That, like so many times during this video, right? So I'm gonna grab all of them, I'm gonna take them all back, and then you leave by just taking off the the wooden mask, I'm pretty sure. And um and that is it. We did it, we got everyone. So I put it on and I've already forgotten his name, Conorink, yeah. And let's go back to the real world. It looks really cool. I love the like tusks on the side. It's neat. I love it. So cool. And I think a worthy prize for the everything that we've been through. I thought we would end this video back where we began in lovely little Rorikstead. I'll go back to my bestie Eric and be like, hey, what's up? You missed like a giant adventure. Oh, uh, and I may or may not have murdered someone earlier. <laughs> okay, so basically, when I was going through the console command saying that I've done the main quest, um, I got to the bit where I had to trap Odafing, like I said, and <laughs> Odafing swoops in and he kills this, like, oh, yikes, there's more cultists there, and they are following me now. Okay, I'm just gonna walk away from those guys. a guard and the guard didn't die so I was wondering if maybe the issue was because that guy was supposed to die and he hadn't died yet so I just murdered him I just killed him and um, clearly it was murder and literally the arrow was right there and all that but um, I didn't really care because I'm not gonna play this character again I'm gonna delete him it was just for fun just for today's video sorry in my stomach I promise I'm gonna eat something um, I hope you had fun despite the Dragon.